You know, everyone's complaining about dark and gritty lately, but fuck it, I don't care. I want more dark and gritty animation. Um, well, I think the dark and gritty thing and, and the opposition to it is just, in a lot of ways, in certain areas, that's all we're seeing, and especially in yeah. live action. And kind of animation, it's the opposite. And so it's like, yeah. we, we want both in each other more. Yeah, we want a balance. Um, and that, that would be really great to see as a balance of 2D and uh, of 3D animation that has, you know, still family-friendly stories, but also for them to do things that are out there and that, you know, push the medium forward. Um, I think it would do a lot as far as, again, pushing the whole animation is not just for children message, because it's not. Mm-hmm. And an interesting story that, that I always kind of refer back to is way back when Disney ended up making Snow White when their original plan was to make a John Carter, Princess of Mars, sci-fi, space, romance kind of movie. Um, And I just keep thinking, if they had made that instead of Snow White, the whole perception of animation as a medium would probably be very, very different. So it would be great if we could have Pixar as the, you know, supposed lead greatest animation studio ever, or at least right now, um, you know, kind of pioneer that and do something, you know, non-family friendly or not just for kids. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not saying you can't take a kid to it, but I just want something that's out there more. Um, like, this is going to sound crazy, but I, I do kind of believe it. I almost want an, a CG heavy metal movie. Um, and I know that's, that that. Heavy metal obviously verges on porn, but I think I it, it's almost needed. Just something that's like completely over the top, just to prove that it can be done and that it can make money. Yeah, I'm reminded there was that video game. I don't even remember what it was called now. Several years back, where it was kind of a metal thing, and the the designs of the characters were still kind of cartoonish, but it was definitely you know aimed at a, an older audience. Mm. Um, okay. I, I'm not sure what it is. Um, I know Jack Black about... voiced the, the main character. But it was like this crazy thing of he's like a guitarist in a metal band and oh, he has to like go to hell and fight demons and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about now. Um, I never played that one, but I, I did hear about it too. Um, and like video games are doing more to push the medium. Uh, what was it? Bayonetta did a pretty good job of... Um, you know, it was stupid fun, but it was, you know, one, it was important that they had a female heroine. Um, well, I suppose that's kind of redundant. Um, that they had a heroine as opposed to a, a male character. Yeah, um, all those male heroines, don't leave them out. Yeah, that, um, I thought it was important that they did that. Sure, she was over-sexualized, which gets into a completely different part of gaming and everything, but still, she was, she was like Lara, Lara Croft again. You know, it's like, it was a character like that again, which is something we need more of. Um, and it just, it pushed the medium, and it was completely over the top and ridiculous. Like, she, you know, ran up the side of buildings so, and <laughs> kicked helicopters out of the sky and shit. <laughs> um, but, you know, I need more stuff like that, where it's it's over the top, it's not meant for kids. A kid can watch it, and it, th- honestly, you know, some parents going to think, oh, it's a cartoon, so it's okay, so they will watch it. Which I think is something we should get into as well. But, um, you know, I just need more stuff like that. Yeah, I think the only way that that perception is going to change is if we start getting more animated films that aren't just for kids. And, yeah, we might have some cases where kids get brought to movies that maybe they shouldn't be taken to for a while, but that problem will solve itself pretty quickly. 